liquid carries uh, liquid uh, uh, hydrogen which is uh, below 200 uh, Celsius. Well, we usually call this the umbilical tower. Very good resemblance of the launch of a rocket and the birth of a baby. It, it does provide a number of things uh, before launch. In fact, mm. uh, five days before launch, it was pushed into the launch pad. Mm. So with, the, with the open of those shafts, we mm. can see uh, the rocket is now standing on its own. One minute countdown, according to the commander. This must be a century long 60 seconds for all the people working at the control station in Wenchang. What would happen in 40 seconds? They say they're counting down 40 seconds now. Yeah, so 40 seconds and 30 seconds they will um, uh, switch, uh, they will check the TTNC signals from mm. the uh, launch vehicle. And then uh, all the uh, TTNC network will start functioning uh, downstream and also including the boats in the Pacific. Ah. 20 seconds countdown. Well, the Long March 5 will fly about 1,800 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. Life travels faster than sound. It's more than three kilometers away from the launching pad, so uh, about uh, two seconds of delay. Yes, the uh, the rocket is slightly tilted to adjust to the, the, the tilted degree of the Earth. Just after se 17 seconds. Se yes. After 17 seconds, just to save fuel. Yeah, to gain the momentum the, uh, to to the direction of the law to the. That is actually the unique characteristic of Long March 5 compared to the other Long March series. Uh, well, every launch vehicle has this uh, pitching uh, at, the, uh, at the right appropriate time because mm. of the degree that they will inject into the orbit. Well, the commander is now reporting the tracking signal from every observation spots. The remote uh, observation station is reporting normal data. So you can see this uh, firing of these four strapped on boosters is brighter than the core segment because the strapped on boosters are kerosene and oxygen, ah, where the core liquid is liquid oxygen. oxygen yes. Mm. So this kerosene camera, is much brighter. Switching camera angles. So this is the camera strapped on to the second stage mm. of the launch vehicle. And later on, I'm sure we can see the separation between this, uh, the booster and the, and the Well, about three minutes uh, into lifting off, the four boosters is about to complete their mission. As you mentioned, EJ, that we had no delay at this time. Mm. Yeah, that's good news. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chuo. Right. Oh, now, the boosters, uh, Mr. Xu mentioned a little bit about the brightness of those fire. Um, it has a thrust of 2,400 kilonewton <laughs> at sea level <laughs> and 2,680 <laughs> kilonewton <laughs> in vacuum. With a total thrust of 9,600 kilonewton. But each of the booster has two engines, and one of the engines is fixed, the other engine is, is uh, rotatable, and so, it's to, so it's controlled. And it's reportedly a very unique characteristic of this rocket design. Exactly. To, to control two uh, engines in one booster is a technology that uh, many countries do not have. Well, the burn time for these four boosters is 180 seconds, so they will separate from the second and first stage rocket about 174 seconds into space. Now, the separation now you see the separation of these four boosters. That means we are 170.